Hello, hello. Here we are again coming to you from Broadcast Team Alpha. And, uh, you know, the show that for the is for the thinking global citizen that is not afraid to go outside of the box and look around and see what they can find. And my name is Agi and my co-host... Uh, hang on just to say... We had a feedback here. I am sorry, folks, but we're going to be all right. Anyway, um, my, uh, my name is Hagi, and my co-host, Nori, she is, um, has an emergency with her grandma, uh, for her um, godmother. So uh, we're going to have to do without her tonight, and we're going to miss her, but she will be back. So um, uh, we are transmitting to you from about 44 different platforms around the world, and we're also transmitting on the wonderful platform of Conscious Awakening Network. And because of that, we are also on the Roku, three TV stations, and a bunch of other places. And we are here with a phenomenal guest tonight. We are going to have some fun, and this is going to be interesting. And if you are watching us on YouTube right now, Go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can find out when the next show and the video comes up because you don't want to miss that. And uh, also, I want to say real quickly that uh, Nori and I have created a think tank, a spiritual think tank where we do amazing and incredible things that uh, you want to know about. So send us an email to themastermindconnection at gmail.com and you can get to hang out with Nori and I on Sundays when we change the world. And we really do. There's some incredible things happening. And I want to get to introduce the guest. And we have a world-renowned Sandra Rose Michael. And uh, there's a, a lot of people, they like to surf the internet when they're also listening. So I'm going to give you her website address. So you could do that. And uh, just as a hint, go into the testimonies of what you're going to hear because there's some really good stuff there and i'm going to mention some of it later now sandra <laughs> she is an inventor a professor and uh, she a uh, phd and also in applied integrated biophysics now that is a title just a little bit above our pay grade for some of uh, some of us but you're going to find out that with quantum mechanics, it can be simple. And uh, Dr. Michaels have taught holistic health for over 40 years, including inventing the first effective scalar healing light chamber in 1978. She has also been on radio and TV everywhere, including CNN, Fox, and uh, the doctors, um, Wall Street Journal, and a bunch of other places. She has also lectured at the United Nations, MIT, and a few other places. I'm going to try to make it short. Um, the Harvard Club and London Royalty Society of Medicine, and has been on the board of the Global Foundation for Integrated Medicine. Some of you understand that organization and you know how important it is for us that believe in healing instead of just treatment. And uh, for the next hour, she's with us. And uh, I want to welcome you to the show, Sandra, because this is going to be good. <laughs> well, thanks for inviting me on. Let's, uh, you know, I just always enjoy sharing with people. I don't know if you gave them that website. It, uh, the one to go to for oh. the testimonials is unified, U-N-I-F-Y-D, unifiedhealing.com or eesystem.com is also. But the one for the testimonials is unified healing. 
And uh, we are the combined unified presence that heals the world. And so that's what the real work is right now on this planet, because we're yeah. in deep shift. <laughs> <laughs> shift, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I like how I like how you recovered on that one. <laughs> uh, that's good. Yeah, I, I want to ask a question first. You know, you have been around in the holistic field for so long, and you've done so much. But what brought you to this holistic field instead of going the regular medicine route and the inventor's route and go out there in the business world and become a billionaire like some of other people like you could have done. What did you choose? Why did you choose this? Well, I mean, people ask, where did it start? It started with my parents met in engineering physics. Uh, my mother, a nuclear physicist, my dad, aerospace, electrical, mechanical, structural engineer, both of them hyper geniuses. They met in engineering physics at Ohio State University. But anyway, um, and so, you know, I, I was really a big accident, but very on purpose. <laughs> because my, um, my mother was, well, where did two super nerds go? Both hyper geniuses, both super nerds, top secret government scientists with, you know, my dad, photographic memory, all that kind of stuff. And where did they go for their honeymoon in 1952? Wow. <laughs> yeah, they went to Tesla's power plant, of course, in Niagara Falls. Wow. And I, when I say I was an accident, literally, here you have two genius scientists. My mother was told if she douched on her wedding night, she wouldn't get pregnant. Oh. Oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, so, that's, to do it. <laughs> that's where it started it really did I don't know what they didn't get about what happens with that but then my mother was working in the labs um, Battelle labs to be specific fissioning plutonium working on the bomb the whole time she was pregnant with me and I remember it vividly and then my dad, the aerospace, uh, you know, so she was working on the bomb. My dad worked on Mach 3, uh, stealth bombers, all that kind of stuff. And I came in with my memories of and, and going, how do we heal all of this? How do we bring healing to this world? How do we turn this all around? We want to heal this planet. So I came in with that intention fortunately grew up on a farm doing all of Tesla's experiments, but also healing all the animals. And so that's always been my focus, but I wanted all the information, but everything growing up, I mean, they, you know, there were two mad Atlantean scientists, mostly stuck on mad. So I know that genius and insanity thing really, really, really well. But um, my favorite toys growing up were Geiger counters and gyroscopes. I had collections of them. <laughs> so, everybody, I thought they were everybody's favorite toys and I thought everybody could you know, hold their hands around the animals and watch how the energy threat went through because I see everything as this combination of, of engineering and physics so it's electrical mechanical structural engineering and physics in the body and that's where we you know we go into applied integrated biophysics but I grew up doing all of Tesla's experiments all the top secret experiments um reading encyclopedias cover to cover by third grade thank you thank you mensa for all the brain training mm -hmm. i you know i do have gratitude for for that piece it was very good brain training one of the best gifts of of mensa was learning to speed read and so also i read that bible because i'm in the bloodline of martin luther so you want to know how this all started oh. <laughs> I'm in that bloodline of Martin Luther. So I read that Bible cover to cover six times by the time I was 12. Wow. Most people didn't know, but I was studying it because it's so important. And then yeah. also looking at all the entomological roots, but also I had every translation. I had every uh, looking at what was translated into what, when, where, why, and, and going deep into that research. So being in that bloodline was another gift, really. And, and then he led a reformation, Martin Luther did. He was the original protester, the, pro, sorry, the yep. Protestant thing, the real protester. 
And um, so it's been kind of in my blood to be a bit of a rebel. Uh, but so he started a uh, reformation where, you know, what came out and went global viral was that revolution of healing. So we're leading a revolution of healing because my whole thing has always been, how do we bring healing to the world? But so I've been teaching holistic health over 45 years. I started in um, 71 with chiropractic, reflexology, nutrition, you know, um, Ayurveda. Um, I was top in the state in Latin, English and math. That Latin is very, very good for the science background as well. And for the medical background, and of course, I studied, you know, anatomy, physiology, did all the medical training as well. And, um, you know, but the, the, that chiropractic background is like the power that made the body heals the body. The power that made the body heals the body. And when yeah. you see everything as a circuitry and everything, all life is energy. And the cells are like many batteries that are meant to be at 70 to 90 millivoltage when healthy. I mean, realize I grew up building all these transducers and receivers and circuit boards and, and Tesla coils and all that stuff. So understanding energy really, really well, uh, you know, it, it was natural. That's where we get into applied integrative biophysics. Uh, studying Ayurveda, I studied the Vedas. That's your best books on physics, really the mm -hmm. very best books on physics. But then I also worked with masters uh, that were, you know, other geniuses, but I started every, anything and everything with health. I was researching Rife and I got trained in radionics and photonics and biophotonics and doing all that research from in the early seventies and understanding all that. And then also um, lots of research uh, experiments, I was running a power management equipment company besides running a spa in the 70s. But I took power management equipment, did all these experiments, and created my first scalar healing light chamber in my spa in 1978 with material from NASA on special lights, understanding John Ott's work. Everything's a, a, you know, a lot of research. And these yeah. bodies, we we are bodies of light. And how much light affects us when really understanding the DNA, because the, the core of our DNA is the light. Yeah. Literally, scientifically, the light from the stars. Yeah. We are bodies of beings of light. And so our DNA is biophotonic. What is photons? That's your quantums of light. So yeah. I created technology. How do we plug the body back into that cosmic light socket, universal, infinite power back on? Because we are brilliant sons and daughters of God. You know, so that's really the foundation of the work is understanding that and wanting to remind the body, because when the body has the right energy, it's a divine, absolutely a divine, amazing brilliant design we're de mm -hmm. divine design <laughs> you know we have designer genes so i like to talk about regeneration because <laughs> we have designer genes you know they're <laughs> very high, very highly designed yeah. uh, so how to bring that dna back to its original divine design the original divine matrix and things like that so yeah so i've taught that holistic health every which way for over 45 years and i I've uh, researched and studied with masters, and I've worked a lot with those top secret government scientists, you know, and and, and things like that, uh, and and recognized as your mm. as your uh, you know associate there, you know, as recognized one of the top healers on the planet. So I'm going. How do we bring healing to the world? You know, we're in very deep shift. Like I said, as a planet. Yeah. And we've waited a long time for this time on the planet. You know, shift I think, is the fan. I think, is it the fan. <laughs> yeah. I think now that technology has advanced so fa so far that you could do what you're doing right now. I know you said you were trained in radionics, and that is close to my heart because I used to do that. Right. And that probably also created maybe a little closer to or maybe a better floor of understanding for what you're doing now through radionics could that be 
something absolutely there? it's part of my foundations absolutely oh. you know you had to understand all these different components to bring everything forward and you know like i said it's applied integrative biophysics so it's looking at all these different mechanisms of what works to create health how do we optimize our DNA? How do we optimize our energy? How do we give the body the energy to heal itself and, and making that easy? So like, like other people have created a, a cell phone charger. This is like I created like a, a cell charger for the whole body. That how do you recharge your whole body as quickly and easily as you recharge a cell phone? And it's wireless technology. Nothing touches the body. But also, yep. you know, I, there was only so many people I could personally teach or touch or train. And this is like, how do we bring healing to the world? And so the clearer your questions, the clearer the answers, I asked God and got a, a really big answer uh, and was and, and said about how to create this technology. That was that started in the early 90s and built my first um, you know, full version of this technology, the EE system, energy enhancement system. I built the first one of that in 1996. <laughs> so the first full, full, um, you know, so there's been research with this technology since 1996. And so people I, can see some of that. I found too that the body, like you're talking about, is a self-correcting machine if you give it what it needs to replenish itself. But there's another hair in the soup that a lot of people I don't think understand, and that is how big a portion of that equation do you actually think resides in the mind of the person of that is actually want the healing or doing the healing how big a portion of that equation do you think come from the mind beyond what maybe people might do with nutrition and exercise and things like that well all of it's important that's why we call it holistic health it's looking at all the aspects regarding to health and what does health mean really uh healing means wholeness it means holiness to me it's remembering the holiness the sacredness of our bodies right. and who we are and all that we're here for. So a lot of that, it is about that spiritual remembrance or that spiritual connection. But it's been very interesting with this technology because it, it scalar allows you a, a reorganization to higher levels of function. And so it takes people at whatever level they're at and gives them the energy to change, you know, to, whether it's to change their mind to change their diet, <laughs> to change, yeah. you, know, you know, because, I mean, there is an old thing, whatever the mind a man can conceive and believe it can achieve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's part of how I created this. Everybody else thought I was absolutely crazy to try to create what I created. But uh, that genius and insanity thing, we, you know, God asked me to do it. So I said, okay, we're going to do it anyway. And we've kept on its perseverance with that. But it's it's but it's also it's been very interesting. If people think they can't, they can't. If you know you can, you can. Uh, you know, say so you want to focus on what you want, not what you don't want. That said, with this technology, you know, initial clinicals, two thousand one, in an oncology office, John Hopkins trained oncologist had our technology first in his clinic in Miami. He talked me into letting him do clinicals with 132 patient study. People can read that online. And all kinds of miraculous things happened with that. But one of the things we've seen over the years that's been quite an anomaly is sometimes the most skeptical people would get the best results. <laughs> kind, of people, like, kind of like radionics. That works that way too. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting, but I think it's also part part of the self talk. They were yeah. going in. They would go in, going, "I couldn't possibly fall asleep in here," and all the body hears is "fall asleep in here," and three seconds later, they're snoring. <laughs> uh, and that's where the body heals. This is the deep delta and theta brain states. People ask, "How do you yeah. use our technology?" It's like your ultimate power nap. 
you know, just like that cell phone analogy that I used, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the, the cell phone doesn't recharge as well if you're still talking on it, than if you put it down or like rebooting a computer, you know, on sleep mode and you defrag and things can charge more effectively and, and efficiently because the body repairs, rejuvenates and regenerates in delta and theta brain states. That's where the repair regeneration is. And so if people would have miracles even with their eyes open, but with the eyes open, more than 80% of the body's energy is being externalized yeah. versus you want to close your eyes, go as deep as you can to allow a total reboot of the body from flight, fright, flight or fight to being able to respond to all the stressors appropriately rather than being stressed out. Because as long as you're in fright, flight or fight, the body could only mobilize enough energy enough to get by to the different systems. So you want to go to that deep delta and theta states where the body relaxes into a true zero point field of energy that relaxes down in. So then the body has the energy to respond to all the stressors appropriately yeah. and reboot the body has the energy then to heal itself rather than it taking all our energy just to cope with a hostile environment and let's be real right now they said i had to create the technology because technology was being so weaponized against us you know we're living um, in a toxic soup yeah. the emf the elf the radiation the microwaves everybody is dealing with radiation poisoning and then you have all the heavy metals the aluminums the mercuries the all the radiolytic isotopes from Fukushima, which is your, you know, the, your radiolytic isotopes. Uh, Fukushima alone was an extinction level event. Radiation, whether it's ionizing radiation like Fukushima or yeah. ionizing radiation or non-ionizing radiation, it unzips the DNA. It breaks the bonds in the DNA. So unified fields, when I put the DNA back to its original divine matrix, mm -hmm. original divine design, and activate the latent DNA, our latent capabilities, as far as the 12 strands of DNA. So people ask, how did you create this? Well, it looks like 12 strands of DNA on the screen. I don't know if you've seen it running. It looks like 12 strands. That's yeah. very, very intentional as the interface with the DNA and the DNA being biophot biophotonic. So that interface is there. If I stop it on a black background, it looks specifically, precisely like it came out of the genome project. But this was developed before I ever saw any of that material, but I designed it specifically to interface mm -hmm. with our DNA and to bring the DNA back to you know its optimal state you know uh, its highest potential so yeah. it, it's an interesting process but it, it is pure science i i read a book uh, a little while ago here where by jerry tennant and he i think the book uh, the title of the book is healing is voltage yes because the body is electric first and everything else comes seconds yes so what you're talking voltage. about fits right in. Mm -hmm. And that's very much that principle. I mean, the, the cells are meant to be at, you know, 70 to 90 millivoltage when healthy. Cancer doesn't exist till it's below 20. Yeah. So you raise that millivoltage, that's the cell membrane potential. When mm -hmm. you raise that back up, then the body has the energy to heal itself. But we are light if we are scalar, you know, our, our DNA, our divine design is scalar, which, you know, you, you know, Dan Winters actually explains the science of that very well in, in how that works with the body, the biophysics that, and this is where you're, you know, we're dealing with your <laughs> electrical, mechanical, structural engineering. So engineering physics that is where that meets your nuclear physics and quantum physics and biophysics as, as uh, part of the metaphysics. <laughs> so yeah. you know, that's what I talk about is integrative from all those different directions. And, and then it's 
you know, it is pure science, though, the way we're doing phase conjugate wave pairs and colliding photons and, and actually doing photonic fusion, which is also what occurs in the body. And mm -hmm. the scientists that I worked on with, with that material who proved that what occurs in the body is cold fusion is a gentleman out, um, out of Greece, a scientist, uh, Panos Papas. And he invented something called the Papimi machines. Maybe you'd heard of that. And, and again, back to raising that voltage in the body. But, but rather than it being a, a, just a third dimensional voltage, the scalar is an important component because it's nonlinear, non Hertzian, fifth yeah. dimensional, standing column or waves beyond relative time and space. And the best way to understand that is the infinity wave or the infinitely projected Mobius, and that's your scalar vortex. And all the systems in the body have that component. And the, what's unique is it's meant to be self-healing, self-regenerating, self-perpetuating fields of energy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, I see also that there is a few other people that is out there saying they have some scalar equipment for different types of healing but there is no one that has put it together like you have and i'm not so sure even about uh, dan winter he's got some machines but uh, it is hard to understand them what you have put together is so simple well yeah people go in and take a nap you just lay yeah. down on a zero <laughs> gravity chair or a bed and that's how it works <laughs> whether it's infants to the you know elderly yeah. it works uh, animals you know anybody and everybody can use it it's just hyper healthy energy and it's so simple to use that, you know, all you do is take that ultimate power nap. Mm. And it's not one person at a time. Because my mm. thing was, we, you know, we can't heal. the. I, I want to bring healing to the world. Couldn't do that one person at a time. Practitioner dependent. Operator no. dependent. I, and going, okay, God, now what do we do? We've got a whole planet that needs healing. And so this was given as an assignment, you know, as, as a as a, <laughs> a project and assignment. And um, so we we agreed to take that on. And it's um, miraculous what we're seeing. But but the clinicals go back. The research goes back to starting in 1996, and when NASA showed up and they were studying the effects on the DNA. That was in the late 90s, finding it was repairing all the genetic damage. We talked about unzipping the DNA, we're putting it back, repairing all the genetic damage and, and lengthening telomeres. So that's yes. your true age reversal. Now, we, we can talk a lot now about the telomeres. Back in the late 90s, nobody knew what I was talking about at all with those telomeres or, they just thought, you know, I was pretty out there then. And yeah. nobody had the research, this was the top geneticist for NASA that did that research. So uh, but it's very yeah. interesting. Now we understand all the mechanisms of action in that. And, and I'm going to tell, uh, you know, we have all kinds of testimonials. Last weekend, I was up in uh, Reno area, Reno, Nevada area, and had a beautiful event that had quite a few doctors there. One of the doctors has our technology in Redmond, California, and her name's Dr. Jenny I can never say it right. <laughs> HSU, Jenny Shu, <laughs> mm. Dr. Jenny Shu. And she's been a professor of medicine, an MD, professor of medicine. And she was into longevity research and was doing all the longevity protocols and processes. And before using our technology, before experiencing the EE system, she had tested her telomeres at and she was doing very, very well because she actually biologically proved to be three years younger than her chronological age, right? So she tested three years younger biologically than chronologically. Okay, so she used one of our systems and did six hours and had another test done, and she tested six years younger. So wow. in two sessions, 
she tested three years younger. That's almost impossible when you're looking at telomere research. Well, okay. words, she, so, she gave herself extra three years to live. Well, and in the six hours, you might not have felt anything. You, do, you don't feel your telomeres changing. You don't feel all the changes in the brain or all the changes in the organs or all the changes in the blood. You know, you don't necessarily feel all that happening because it it really is beyond the, you know, the, the mind can't quantify it, you know, mm -hmm. you know, can't track all of it. And so people go, I don't know what happened. All I did was fell asleep. Okay, so you, maybe you didn't feel anything, nothing happened, but now you're three years younger in mm -hmm. two sessions. Is that cool yeah. or what? That is okay, really, so, that's yes, very cool. She, she got her EE cube and she tested again and she was 15 years younger after having her EE cube in her, in her home or practice. And then she finally got her full system and she has a beautiful center now and wonderful people that run that. But she, uh, we just celebrated her birthday like last weekend and she's now 54 years old, but her telomeres now test as being 28. Well, I'm going to come and see you. <laughs> <laughs> We'd all rather grow younger than older at this point, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. But when, yeah. you're talk, when you're talking about the telomeres, uh, like you say, nobody knew anything about much about that before 2003. And when there were three doctors got the Nobel Prize for discovering that there's an enzyme that reverses the aging process, the telomerase. And yeah. that is, uh, you know, astragalus is one good cause for that. But what you do in here bypasses all the nutrition. It goes directly to the telomeres and the systems of the body to re repair itself, doesn't it? Right. I mean, you still want to support its holistic health. You can't accept, yeah. expect to be super healthy if you're still poisoning yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, I mean... Uh, it, uh, anybody that's followed me knows I've been on the nutritional thing forever and organic and all that, you know, yeah. so, you know, I mean, but even so, you know, I told you I had to put makeup on before the show because us women are judged pretty harshly. I had somebody in a live show put the question, uh, if, if this technology works so good, how come you don't look like you're 18? It's because I'm 70. Hello, I have four kids, <laughs> I have four grandkids. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to look uh, 18. <laughs> that's phenomenal. But, but also, I, I, have, I have 5 million miles on this body. I'm here to heal the world. And I've been all over it for decades, literally. Yeah. I had to create this technology to do what I do. And, and let's be real. I mean, I, you know, I've had every attack on me every bioweapon attack, every it's all kinds of attack. And imagine how I'd be if I weren't on planes and in hotels of what I'd look like with my own technology. So yes, the technology works really, really well. And I, you know, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm here to do without creating it. I had to create it, literally. Yeah. And now I see that we are past the bottom of the hour. So for those of you that joined us late in this show, we are talking with Sandra Rose Michael that has developed an, what is called the EE system for healing. Of, I'm looking at the, um, the testimonies and it really comes down to just about absolutely everything. But that is done through research and it's a tricky area to step into, but she's doing research. And now this research is available to absolutely everybody. So, uh, and uh, her website is unifiedhealing.com, but it spells unifyd healing.com. And go in there and check the testimonies. I did that today and it blew me away. And uh, I will. Uh, I, I need going... to clarify that. That's not my website. Oh. It, it is a website created by Jason Shurka, who interviewed me. 
And the interview came out May 27th, The Revolution of Healing, Moving mm -hmm. Beyond Medbed Technology. Now, anything and everything people have talked about with the med beds, you know, we've been seeing and doing for a long time, um, but not one person at a time, not having to bring it out of the secret space program. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, okay. But when that that interview went out May 27th, beginning of June, he started Unified Healing. So that is his website, Unified Healing. He has Unified TV. And really it's about, we need to be the greater community. We've got to come together. It was yeah. all divide and conquer. And we need to be the combined unified presence that heals the world. And when I was given this project, they said initially I'd be doing the foundations, laying the foundations, doing the homework, doing all the research, laying all the foundations. They said initially it had to go out primarily, even with all the research and researchers yeah. and all that, it had to be primarily let out through in private homes so it couldn't be stopped but they also said when it's time for it to go out it has to be everywhere fast everywhere fast so when he when jason shirka came and interviewed me and he released that interview called the revolution of healing moving beyond medbed technology it went everywhere fast i don't know what happened I had been on CNN and all kinds of other things. In fact, the quickest way to understand our technology is to watch that little five-minute CNN clip. You know, they did a great job, but they pulled that off the off the network faster than it went out. <laughs> he got, you know, uh, number one advertiser. Eighty percent of our advertising has been pharmaceutically controlled <laughs> or chemically controlled. Yeah. So yeah. that, well, but that's, you, know, you can find that CNN clip. That's the fastest way to understand it. But when this went out, it went all over the world. I don't, don't really know exactly what happened because we had 70,000 emails in the first 24 hours of that releasing. And so that was last year, May 27th of 2022. And now at this point in time, you know, so we've gone, I think there were about 25 centers worldwide, even though it was in thousands of installations all over the world in private homes, maybe 25 centers, including University of Hawaii Medical School with our peer reviewed published studies and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, but the, the word was it has to be everywhere fast. And so that's where we're at in the since May 27th of last year, we we have over 400 centers worldwide yeah. to make it available to the people, affordably, easily available to the people. Yeah, and uh, let's talk a little bit about more what it can actually do for people. I looked at uh, uh, the. Uh, the testimonies on unified healing and there's some phenomenal testimonies that uh, that you know he got involved with uh, helping create and i i would like to maybe mention a few of these um, testimonies because there is a lot of them in regard to cancer yeah. They've done a lot of research and phenomenal research. There are one here uh, that um, they verified with a PET scan. Uh, the second PET scan, a little while later, the cancer was gone, ovarian cancer. Um, antigen level at 182 once it came. And uh, the normal, uh, I think the normal uh, uh, healthy level is 38. And after the second uh, uh, I think it was two healings, uh, two sessions. It was down to 61. It's almost healed. And then a little while after, it was gone. A lady was blind for five years in one eye. Now she can see. Completely paralyzed is another testimony. Now she's walking after nine hours of treatment. And then there is uh, one here. We'll talk about, uh, yeah, skin and aging. Uh, the skin uh, turned smooth. 15 years of open ulcers closed. And then we have a one here that talks about um, ADHD. Then after a few treatment, 
now they can focus again and they can concentrate and can work like <laughs> normal people. And <laughs> also vision improvement, Lyme disease was taken care of after one hour. It went from 25% uh, of uh, and, uh, pain, I guess, up uh, now to 100% without it. So just go into the testimonies and scroll down and read and you are going to be as amazed as I am. So this, I have known about you for a long time, by the way, also. And I know what you have done. It is phenomenal, this research, and now it is available to everybody. So talk a little bit about your work and what people can expect when they come to a clinic. Yeah, well, we're very, very blessed in that we've been able to see anything and everything heal because the body, when it has more energy, uh, the first thing it wants to do is clean house. And, you know, we've mentioned we're living in such a toxic soup. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, our bodies have become more like toxic waste dumps for a lot of people, <laughs> you know. So first thing, it gives the body the energy then to clean house. First off, detox, detox, detox. That's why I tell people to drink a lot of water and to do a salt bath. You know, that's applied integrated biophysics. But the skin is the largest organ of elimination. And it's the third kidney, so that creates the world's easiest detox. When the body has the charge, and you charged up the cells, you know, raising the millivoltage, and then it wants to discharge everything that does not belong. And so the easiest way to do that is, you know, minimum bath, two cups of salt in a bathtub. Nothing does what a bath does. The skin's that largest organ. When the body's trying to push toxins out of every nook and cranny it can get it out of, you know, the salt will help pull it, but it also works with the charge in the body. You know, you know that, that potassium sodium pump and things like that. So it works with the charge. So it's one of the things that, you know, people lost its old science, but even in my first spa in 1978, you know, we had individual detox baths because that's like mm -hmm. so vitally important. And so that's one of the things I, you know, people need to remember to do once they've been there. When they go, they're just going to kick back in a, in a bed or, you know, the magic is in sleeping with it. I tell people to do a minimum of, of two hours, give the body time to use the energy. We didn't get where we got overnight. Okay, you know, want to give the body time and then it's cumulative. Each and every time you go in, the body picks up where it left off and reorganizes to a higher level of function. It is very cumulative for the body. So you're giving the body the energy to do what it really wants to do, which is to function more and more optimally. Everything wants to function perfectly. You know, so we're giving yeah. the body the energy, the information, the light, the, you know, uh, that permission to function more and more perfectly. Every cell of the body that being charged up, literally every, every cell is meant to be, you know, functioning at that level. It's like a mini battery. And, and so charged up. And then that way it can discharge what does not belong because that's, these bodies are so incredible in their design. So, but the magic is in sleeping in it. The, the more you go to the Delta and Theta, the more you relax, the more the body can use the energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I, I have a track record of giving doctors a bad rap once in a while, and but they do have their place. If I break my leg, I'm going to see a doctor, the herbalist. He can go out in the field somewhere. I don't need him, but they have their place. And that's where people should look for. Integrative medicine is the term that they can also, if you break your leg, they can help you, but also they can also heal. And that's what you're doing. Yeah, you want that that really holistic approach where you're looking at yeah. the whole things and what creates health a lot of doctors have been very well trained on how to treat damage or disease or treat symptoms mm -hmm. but they haven't been trained on what creates health and no. so this and you know so we've got to accept accountability and responsibility for our own health 
And so mm-hmm. one of the things I, I then always tell people, every dollar is a vote. What are you voting for? Quit paying for poisons. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? You know, quit paying for them to poison you. <laughs> so yeah, you want to make healthier, more intelligent, more informed choices and give the body that astragalus. If give your body, you know, fresh, live, raw food as far as possible, your greens, organic, you know, and get, you know, support your local farmers, grow your own food, things like that. Life comes from life. And so you want to make healthier, you want to have the energy and the information to make healthier, more intelligent, more informed choices, but also part of healing. You mentioned about hypnotherapy and stuff. Uh, The brain states are very, very important. So some of the research with this is the brain research where they found that you can go to a deeper meditational state than a Tibetan monk in approximately seven minutes because it's right left brain synchronization that right left brain so that's your whole brain thinking so you've got your super learning states but your ideal optimal meditational states and then in that i say ask and you shall receive that is a divine law and let yourself know what god wants you to know you be still and know you know that's a commandment as far as i was concerned so Mm -hmm. ask you shall receive and what if you could know whatever god wants you to know or know whatever there is to know the knowing of which that allows all things to heal and clear as issues in our bodies our lives our relationships our country our whole world you know there's a lot to heal and so if you feel the need for more healing anywhere breathe it because it is it is about that breath of life <laughs> and yeah. breathe it yourself the more that you allow yourself to feel and sense and know that mm-hmm. divine presence of god yeah. you know the more present you are here the more you're in omnipresence and omnipresence is within you and and that's w- w- when we step forward as those fully aligned sons and daughters of god and christ yeah. said everything he did and more were to do so let's get on with it yeah you know, it's and, coming but it's a new heaven and a new earth let's fulfill the prophecies of all who've gone before us let's fulfill all the prayers all the promises and all the prophecies of all who have gone before us and call forth all that wisdom to be fully yeah. present yeah, I think I saw uh, also there is uh, nearly a hundred clinics here in the United States. In fact, you you told me there is one right here in Tucson, and uh, we're gonna go uh, go see him. Uh, I'm sure there's there's a lot of people in Tucson that need some help too. And now you have a continuing workshop also. Uh, talk a little bit about that, where people can uh, maybe get a good taste of what's going on. Yeah, for those that really want to go down the rabbit hole more into the science, into the physics, but also the research and the clinicals and also how to use the use the energy and understand it more, there is an online three and a half hour online course with a work, workbook, and that's available $65. It's a total donation to support New Earth University. It's newearth.university. It's called the Future of Medicine, Applied Integrative Biophysics. Or you can put in Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, and you can take that course. And I support that university. It's 100% contribution. There's so much um, great resources in their library and information on MMS, uh, different things. Um, Jim Humble's book, uh, The Solution. That's a free download there. So there's lots of information people can get from that website. And also I explain how the high tech and the low tech model, how these medallions and bracelets work. These are, like I said, literally high tech and the low tech wearable models. Yes. (laughs) So (laughs) you want things that really, really, really work. And, And Dr. Glenn Ryan's done some of the research. He's our Stanford, Harvard biophysicist, but an authority on scalar research. And he found in the labs, it was a 28% increase in the electrical conductivity of DNA itself. 
with this. So that explains your cell signaling. Everything's communication in the body. But these create like a five-foot cocoon and help maintain the integrity of the DNA and the red blood cells, which are also that torsion field, torus, tube torus shape. It's maintain the integrity of the red blood cells and the DNA so that we stay strong and stay in our alignment and in our mm -hmm. integrity, no matter what we're exposed to, <laughs> because we're living in a toxic soup. So how are we going to function? So this was uh, developed as the low cost portable models and it helps people with their sleep. And there's all kinds of testimonials that we've seen crazy miracles just with the medallions and bracelets. So I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that because they're very cost effective. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I also, uh, uh, I see on uh, your website uh, or uh, actually Unified, I saw that it was very reasonable. This is something that everybody, these uh, treatments is something everybody can afford. Yes. Yeah. Cheaper so, than a massage. <laughs> it's like an energy yeah. spa. And yeah. then there's also our our system owners, our EE system owners all over the world. You know, some of them are doing because we, you know, I, I support the veterans so much. We've done so much with our veterans and special ops and special forces guys who've been through so much they can't unsee what they've seen and so much to heal. So if some of our centers have one day a month or one day a week that are free for veterans things like that. So very, very important. So you can talk to them, um, you know, and, and ask and you shall receive, but, yeah. uh, but they've made it very, very affordable. Sometimes there's group programs and they have, um, you know, I'll be doing an open house in New Jersey uh, this next, um, next week, actually 11, 11, we've got an open house in New Jersey where people can come in and experience a 24 unit system and get to meet me. So um, they'll be there in New Jersey and, uh, and in New York. I've got a few different uh, meetings we're doing, but people can meet us and but they can also experience the technology uh, personally because, you know, and you can never be too healthy. The people ask, can you get too much? No, you can no, never have too much good energy. You yeah. never be too healthy, look too good, feel too good. Too can't be too happy. <laughs> so there's yeah, always there, there, room for more love somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there is no such thing as too much of a good thing. <laughs> and but, it's just uh, healthy energy. Yeah. That's what people need to understand. It's just yeah. hyper healthy energy. But then yeah. the body knows what to do with it. That's why yeah. we call it bioactive energy. The body grabs mm -hmm. the energy. And gets excited, literally cellular excitation. Body gets excited and yeah. wants to use the energy to heal. And you know, then we've seen anything and everything heal. But it's it's a yeah. I want to I want to hear it from you. Um, where do people go to find the closest center to where they live? Well, the first there's two places to look. One the where there are more centers listed is actually eesystem.com, eesystem, energy enhancement system.com, eesystem.com. And then there's also unified healing centers, and they have, they're part of uh, that unified healing group. And I think the, the last count just on unified healing centers alone, find the location nearest you. It was 356 ones there yeah. and there's over 400 some uh listed on the ee system site so okay yeah then it's better to go to the ee system there is more of them there so that'll be the better one then right but realize ee system is like the manufacturer we're mm -hmm. we're not we we're not advertisers we don't advertise I, I educate people but the company is the manufacturing i'm the inventor the researcher the healer mm -hmm. I'm not really part of the company, <laughs> so, oh, so okay. to speak. But so EE System is the manufacturer and getting the technology. We have teams doing installations all over the world because it's very precisely installed. 
Okay. And the and the you have the small version, the home version, that EE cube, <laughs> that you know is the baby. It's the uh, you know it's the baby slow boat, but it's the baby system. And so we have all that production going on with EE system, and and then we couldn't put the testimonials out. You understand our FDA; it's illegal to heal, fix, or cure anything. But they also construe testimonials as claims so we cannot make those claims <laughs> and we're not making any claims uh you know so it's just hyper healthy energy it's still up yeah. to you and your body what you do with the energy where you go with the energy and you taking and using the energy to live your greatest life but also mm -hmm. understanding the body and how it works you might think you want your hair to grow, which it, we have lots of, of people's hair growing better. Okay, <laughs> we hear that all the time. But your body might be using the energy to heal your liver, or your pancreas, or your kidneys first. <laughs> so the body has its own infinite innate intelligence, and it has its own priority list of what it's going to do with energy. And, and some of when the body is pushing out toxins, it may not feel wonderful. So you want to get right back in. You want to drink the water, do the salt bath, support detox, make sure the colon's moving. Let shifts yeah. go. <laughs> Got to mm -hmm. let those toxins go. And not hold on to them. Fear of detox is not going to help anybody. Yeah. You know, and, but get right back in as fast as the technology can help bring those things up. That's how fast it'll move it out. You don't want to stop the process and hold on to or reabsorb toxins on their way out. You know, get excited and, and cheer the body on to let stuff go. You know, people, people get so afraid of detox. But, you know, trusting the infinite innate intelligence of the body, the body knows exactly what it's doing. However, it's in alignment with true best and highest interest. It doesn't trigger any unnecessary detox reactions, mm -hmm. but it's going to try to help you heal. Yeah. Have you done any research on the um, 5G and how that can affect, uh, is, how does that work with what you're doing here in the research? Of, of course. I mean, if people really want to go into that, 5G apocalypse is mm -hmm. uh, something Sasha Stone created, and I've worked with Sasha Stone. I am part of the his um, International Tribunal for Natural Justice for Crimes Against Humanity okay. and Weaponization of Our Biosphere. And so that yeah. is part of that. The 5G was a weaponized frequency that was brought out. Um, yes, we have all kinds of research with that, you know, because my whole thing was how do we heal all these you know, how do we bring healing to, to all of it? And it's mm -hmm. putting the energy that's been destructive, destructuring, destructive, detrimental fields in transmutation of those fields into beneficial energy. Now, John Oriva on our website, you can, you can read uh, a transcript or, or you can watch a video of John Oriva, who was at one point head of science for the Pentagon, and he came in with a $100,000 specialized oscilloscope and talked about total transmutation of energy into beneficial fields, coherent, mm -hmm. unified fields. So it's not about protection from, because protection from doesn't work, because the more you protect from, whatever you focus on expands, the more there is mm -hmm. to protect from, and that's more victim, and we don't need more fancy victims on the planet. So please let go of any ideas of protection from. We need to be so strong and integral with our light that nothing that is not of the light can affect us. It's no, through our strength of yeah. our light. And so yeah, that's yeah. the way our technology works. It activates the light mm -hmm. at the core of the DNA, the medallions and braces, independent testing, the good news and the bad news. We have the doctor testing all these things that were created and supposed to work against the 5G, et cetera. And they, the only thing that actually worked was our medallion. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. the good news and the bad news, because we need lots of things that work. And I'm sure there have been other things now that have maybe come out, but people think Shungite, well, you found that, you know, Shungite didn't do 
shift for Shinola for, for the 5G. Sorry. It's a great yeah. stone. We love it. <laughs> we love our crystals, however. And these are all natural crystals, but they're hypercharged and embedded very profoundly with the technology, with the scalar and with the informational fields to transmute energy into beneficial. <laughs> Yeah, I got Shungite, and it, yeah. I don't know if it did anything for me either. <laughs> but it's cool stone. I love them. I yeah, love them. Yeah. But, it's, but it's also about that staying in integrity with yeah. our own light, not being dependent on, uh, on anything outside of yeah. that reinforcement of our, of our own light and, and using, you know, Using things that re we want things that really, really work uh, in the Hawaiian, you know, I'm recognized as a kahuna and there's maybe people have heard of Ho'oponopono, making yes. what's right, more right. That's what that means. Or Pono means balance and making what's right, more right, um, because, you, you know, whatever you focus on expands. So my version of that is the more you focus on the perfection, the more the perfection can manifest more perfectly. Yeah. But but the definition of Pono that I like the best in regards to our technology is effectiveness is the measure of truth. Yeah. And my whole thing has been how effective, how efficient, how well does it work? We need things that really, really, really work to help humanity right now. Yep. Yeah. Because we're in deep, very, very deep shift. Um, you know, and I want to say we're seeing amazing turnarounds from some, a lot of the the long haul or or damage that people have experienced from the last releases of the last few years we're seeing amazing turnarounds yeah because yeah, and there, the whole, there's nothing the, bigger than god the whole world is going to have that turnaround it is coming because people are waking up in hordes and you are a big instrumental in helping that happen. So I sure appreciate that. And I see now we're down to the end of the show. So uh, one more time, let people know where they can uh, find you and where they can uh, find their, uh, their source of the, uh, the centers closest yeah. to them. And the EE -E medallions and bracelets and, and the only mask we recommend, we have a, a gold mask. It's great to meditate with. <laughs> Hypercharged people. It's great for the skin. So people can, or, or we also have some shower filters and things like that, that, you know, is one of the co most cost effective things we can do is um, purifying some of our water so you're not breathing the chlorine gas and absorbing it through the yeah. skin and stuff. So eesystem.com, and you can find locations there and products there and research. And there's unifiedhealing.com, U-N-I-F-Y-D, healing.com. And there you can find uh, the revolution of healing, that, that video, but you can also find the revolution in India healing humanity beyond the speed of light but we're in this amazing time the great awakening i mean i heard this from my guidance for decades the great awakening cannot and will not be stopped we are the future that cannot be stopped yep. and so you have to be the, the future that you want to create a new heaven and a new earth you know through us yeah now yeah, there's a lot of people are worrying these days but quit doing it quit worrying focus on what you want <clears throat> the good things you want to see in the future and go back and forth and visit that vision every day because you're going to be drawn to it and you create your own future so absolutely absolutely yes <laughs> focus yes. on what we want not what we don't want worry is prayer in reverse yeah <laughs> Prayer is our power. And I like to talk about awareness is our power. You have to be aware of, of what's been going on to create a new reality, right? Yep. But love is our superpower. Yes, it is. So I thank you very much, Sandra, for being with us. And for those of you that joined us late again, we've been talking with Sandra Rose Michael that has put together a system 
of research that is now available to absolutely everybody at a price everybody can afford. So uh, go visit her uh, website, eesystems.com, and uh, there she will be waiting for you. <laughs> and I want to say aloha to everybody. I'm from Hawaii, right? But that, uh, the reason I share that, aloha is a scalar wave. It's oneness with that breath and that love of all life that flows out infinitely to touch the hearts of all beings, to feel more love right now. Sounds aloha. wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs>